get so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes So this is Tring Reservoir Car Park. <laughs> it's a bit busy at the moment, but right there, waterside edge. I think that's like a calf restaurant kind of thing. Um, I'm just gonna have a look over here because I believe there is a pub as well. I don't know if I'm gonna use these like the cafe and the pub today or tomorrow, but I thought I'd just have a little look and show you. I looked online and the uh, the menus look pretty cool. Angler's Retreat, that's cool, isn't it? It's, uh, so yeah, you got that. Oh, and you have got the white line just up there. Oh, <laughs> oh. ouch, man down. Man down! I just walked into one of them stupid little things! Ow. <laughs> you know when it don't hurt, but it really hurts! Freaking hell! And I bet people saw me. That's the first thing we do in it, British. Did anyone see? <laughs> oh, everyone saw! Because I was freaking recording it! <laughs> My knee's got a boo-boo. <laughs> See, try and help you guys, show you a couple of pubs, and then I might get taken down like I'm a drunk. <laughs> oh, right, I'm gonna hobble on, hobble on back to the car park and have a look around the lake. <laughs> Before I was rudely interrupted by these stupid little posts. <laughs> You've got two pubs and a little restaurant calf, um, and this massive car park. Parking in this car park is four pound for 24 hours. So I think it's gonna be a sweet one. I wanted to do some fishing. So I wanted to come somewhere that I could obviously do fishing, but I wanted to come somewhere where it made sense to you lot because I could just go to a private lake quite easily, pull up in the car park, drag all my stuff to the water's edge and fish forever onwards as long as I want but that's probably only gonna appeal to about that many of you so I thought I'd come somewhere where you know he's open to everyone um, that way you know you all can you know experience it and come here and everything because it's not just for fishing yeah, it's got nice walks, there's some pubs, there's uh, great places to walk the dog and you know, just along the canal, along the rivers, along the reservoir, sorry. Um, so yeah, and it's it's a four pound park up, so that appeals to all of us, doesn't it really? So I mean, I will do some lake fishing uh, and go to some proper fisheries, but I wanted to just, uh, you know, broaden the reach of, t of this video and, uh, and the park up really so that's why I thought I'd come here I was looking around on, on Street View and that's like so many people ask how do I find my park ups um, just been looking 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 um, yeah and I come across this so if you have a look here you can pay by phone because their thing isn't working at the moment so there is three, three reservoir lakes and the canal. Apparently, someone's just told me that it's five pound to fish the canal and 10 pound to fish the reservoir. So, yeah. So, oh, look at him. No way. It's just loads of perch. It's a whole pool of perch. 
I'm gonna stay here tonight. Um, I wanna do some fishing. I don't think I'm gonna do fishing today because I think it's meant to rain soon and it's like three o'clock in the afternoon already. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a walk around, see if I can find some fishermen, see what the crack is. Cause I think this one's the hardest lake to fish. I think there's another one down there, which is easier. So I'm gonna go for that one. <laughs> um, so yeah, see what we can find, go talk to some people, have a little look around, and uh, then go back to my home, maybe make some dinner, and uh, then get an early start on the day tomorrow, and do some fishing, but four quid for an overnight park up for 24 hours. It's all right, isn't it? Don't know if there's any services around there. I mean, there's a lot of canal boats, so maybe there'll be fresh water somewhere. It's got to be, isn't there? Don't know where, but yeah, let's have a little look. around found somewhere to park myself for, for a couple of minutes in the meantime I'd like to thank this week's sponsor Readly they are an online magazine and newspaper subscription service they've got over 5,000 uh, magazines for you to download so you can download them offline um, read them online if you want whatever you want um, but it's great for if you're gonna go on a plane or you're going on a trip or you have a spotty connection um, you can download a couple of weeks uh, magazines or a couple of months magazines that past the episode uh, past it past not editions past yeah past editions because it ain't episodes ain't no tv show yeah past past editions i've been loving the fishing magazines at the moment because i'm just getting back into it. i used to buy a lot of fishing magazines so now i'm just making my way through them and the best part of it is there's a whole back catalog so it's years and years of content that i can just sit there and read and just download and i've got them for for whenever i want them there's a, there's a few photography ones and travel ones which I like the look of and uh, there is a few motorhome ones which I've, I've looked into I've, uh, I'm not, uh, I've not spent much time on them because I'm too busy on, on the fishing ones to be fair but there's so many, there's all the, all the food ones and there's newspapers there's tons, you can use it on your mobile, your tablet and on the web uh, like I say you can download them for offline use and uh, yeah it's just uh, $7.99 a month but but because you know me and I've got the hook up, <laughs> I'll hook you up, I'll hook you up. If you click the link in my description, you get not one, not one, two months free, two months free readily. Um, and then after that, $7.99 a month, um, you can cancel at any time, no problem. There's no long-term subscription, no contracts or anything like that. Whenever you want to cancel, you just cancel. So yeah, definitely check readily out. Cheers guys. Not positive news really, fishing wise. Um, there's a couple of guys down here, match fishers, they're fishing for bream and he's had one and I saw him putting it back as I arrived and that's his first fish in six hours. <laughs> he looked at me proper funny. <laughs> like, What's that geezer doing? So they've been throwing all their bait out. They've all got three rods each and none of them have pulled anything in today. However much I want to actually fish on this to maybe try and catch something big, I might actually just fish the canal because no one's fishing the canal. I'm thinking I'd rather catch something small than nothing at all. But it's a beautiful place. It's massive. Um, yeah, and it seems to be pretty fine. There'll be a lot of night fishers here because the members can night fish. So they'll be all night fishing so there's plenty of people around I don't think there's gonna be any trouble tonight so you know it should be all right nice little park up nearly hit 10,000 steps <laughs> and I've done nothing this morning so that's quite a lot of walking around here um, 
Uh, yeah, it's starting to rain now, so um, I think I've come to a decision. I'm not going to fish the reservoir. I'm going to fish the canal tomorrow. So I'm going to get up about six in the morning, get straight down the canal, get set up, get my rods out and see what I catch. Um, I'm going to go in and start cooking something, get, get some dinner going. I think I'm going to do a roast chicken, a few little roast spuds, maybe a little bit of veg and some gravy. Let's do it. from a can is because well I clearly don't eat that many vegetables so I'm not going to dedicate a part of my fridge a part of my <laughs> storage to a vegetable definitely not dedicating freezer space to vegetables so I'll keep a can and then I'll deal with it vegetables are not not up here on the list they're really not but hey you know I've got some I'm gonna eat them looks good they should be all right maybe <laughs> Look at them. Oh, yes. So, just plated up a couple of chicken legs. I've got a few of the onions that we were sitting on. All the juices are in the tray there, which will go in one of these nice jars so they don't go down the sink. Right, let's get a few of these out. I'm going to put them on kitchen towel because I don't want all the oil. They've got to be the simplest potatoes in the world. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. I think you'd agree. It's pretty banging. Woo. Oh, yes. Look at that. That was mint. Washing up is all done. La, 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 la. There's really no point in me jumping out and showing you around because it is absolutely pitch black. So that is outside. Um, yeah, all nice and quiet. There's only a couple of cars here. There's a truck there, a car next to me, right on that side, and the truck's on that side. Um, it's spitting out, so nothing much. And uh, yeah, I'm just watching the contract whilst I was washing up. So I'm going to get my... I'm gonna get my fishing gear ready now. Hit the hay and then up early, up about six, quarter, past, quarter to six. And then uh, mosey on down to the canal and see if we can catch some fish. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Ah, I'm in a bit of a puddle. <laughs> That's not clever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> And I don't think I can really move them out home because my maggots are under the wheel. Oh no. Don't tell me they're drowning. That wouldn't be good. But yeah, very uh, quiet night last night. Um, it's about half six now. Um, it was raining quite a bit earlier. So um, yeah, just grabbing the last bits together and then I'm gonna make, a, make my way to the canal. I think a few people arrived overnight um, for night fishing, um, so it's still quite empty. There's pretty much no one here, um, no one actually out and about. There's my fishing gear. Any, anyone that knows fishing knows that green tube is a John Wilson fishing rod. Just bought it, lovely. Um, but yeah, this needs condensing. Um, so I've. I, I need a better backpack or something to carry this stuff and that chair is my normal camping chair so that's yeah I'm, I'm getting back into it so I need to need to get it slowly slowly condense it and get get better at it so here we go all set up right along the canal there's all my gear got a little time lapse going I brought the GoPro and no other camera because just in case something goes in <laughs> I don't want to ruin all my cameras. I've got a quick little quiver tip on the method feeder out there, uh, on the feeder, cage feeder, and then I've got a float. 
out there, a little float rod here. So yeah, my little setup. <laughs> All for a morning's fishing. Yeah. <laughs> two three o'clock so had a good day's fishing um, didn't really catch anything big caught a few perch caught a few skimmers and uh, yeah nothing nothing to write home about to be fair I got one half decent bream it was bream skimmer <laughs> I don't know it was a fish it was all right size nothing but nothing that I really stopped and took, took got the camera out or anything like that for just got to grab that and my chair all nice and clean not left anything in the bank. Beautiful spot down here. Um, bailiff never come round, so three days fishing is better. It's a good day's fishing, um, and uh, a bad day's fishing is, a, is better than a good day's work. Just thrown my rubbish away, packed all the fishing gear up, and now I'm heading to a friend's place. Uh, and we're going to go to the pub, have some drinks, have some food, and uh, yeah, it'll be. Uh, been a great little park up. Four quid, 24 hours. Love it. So, Tring Reservoir, definitely recommend it. Cut the pubs around, dog walking, beautiful place, fishing, perfect night's sleep. Love it. If you've liked this video, then why not check out this one or this one? They are bangers, if I say so myself. <laughs> and I'll catch you lot on the next one. Take it easy guys, bye.